Let's take a look at the structures we can see in a sagittal section through the head. We'll begin in the nasal cavity. This is the frontal sinus. This is the sphenoid sinus. Both of these chambers empty into the nasal cavity. So this is the nasal cavity. In the lateral walls of the nasal cavity, you can see three bumps, inferior, middle, and superior concha. The floor of the nasal cavity is the hard palate. The air that's moving through the nasal cavity will pass into the nasal pharynx. So let's take a look at some of the structures in the nasal pharynx. The posterior wall of the nasal pharynx is the adenoid or pharyngeal tonsil. An opening you see in the lateral wall of the nasal pharynx is the eustachian tube or auditory tube. If we move a little inferiorly, we will be able to look at the structures in the oral cavity and oral pharynx. This is the lips, the teeth, and the tongue. The space surrounding the tongue is the oral cavity. If we move over this tongue till we reach the back part of your mouth, food or air can pass into the oral pharynx. The borders of the oral pharynx are the tip of the epiglottis and the inferior tip of the soft palate. Now let's look a little more inferiorly and look at the larynx and the laryngopharynx. These cartilages represent the cartilages that make up the larynx. This is thyroid cartilage. This is the anterior part of the cricoid. This is the posterior part of the cricoid. This is the epiglottis. When I'm inside of this structure, I'm in the larynx. The wall contains a true and false vocal cord. False, true. And of course, air passing through this region passes down into the trachea. What's found directly behind this is the laryngopharynx. Air and food can pass through this region. When air passes through the laryngopharynx, it enters the larynx by passing through the glottis. When food passes through the laryngopharynx, it continues onward in the esophagus.